Hi, John here. I'm just going, trying to get a bit of shot with uh, the sun in the background here. Uh, I'm just on this subject of Maunga Tauteri Mountain and I want to talk a bit about it because that's where we're landing up with the titles of Te Re Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau and what happened to his tribe. The uh, New Zealand government Crown, corporations, and New South Wales government of Sydney got rid of the Manukau's history, and I've got it all here. I've got the whole lot here, and I'm going back into Cambridge, Kihi Kihi, and um, um, uh, Karapiro areas uh, where this Mangatauteri. Marae and its past site is still standing today and as far as I'm concerned the title still belongs to him and his Kahu Punga Punga tribe. I can't see any history anywhere in the 1800s of what I've just got now online. I've been doing a bit of research and just talking to my son Richard today uh, he seems to know a lot about Mana Totally. Mountain in Cambridge from his mother, uh, Mihinui, uh, Caroline, um, uh, and her father, Peter Mihinui, was trying to tell me a thing or two at the time. We were having meetings up at the Marae. He lived right on the Marae, Pohara Marae, or Pua means Marae, uh, Pohara. Um, uh, that's uh, on the opposite side of Arapuni. That's the road that crosses over uh, from Arapuni village. You've got Putaruru, then you go to Arapuni, then you cross over, and then you're on the other side, on the Mangatotari side, of Kihi Kihi and um, uh, um, Cambridge, um, Karapiro, then Cambridge, on that side. This is where this um, Mangatotari mountain is. And the three Marais, I'm just having a look now, um, and those land blocks, I've just put it on Facebook now. I'm, I'm citing these um, um, history of these chiefs, Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau and Rewhere for Manukau. And this name Manukau has been left out of all the history in this country and taken over by Tainui and Rokawa and all the other Maniaputo. All those tribes in Tainui uh, um, have no basis of title besides what I've got here stacked up behind this couch and all over the place over there and at the side here given by Mohi Manukau that says otherwise the British title is going to swipe them out because they can't prove they got there in the first place it still goes back to its original owners which the British are waiting for the rightful owners everybody's had a go at going to the United Nations to try and claim it even through Nakura, she's a Nicholas, you see, the Cook Islander that jumped ahead of myself and Manja and Parapara. We've been together for so long with the Confederation of Chiefs up in Hokianga, out that area, in Waitangi, to come down, narrow it right down to these two chiefs with their titles scribbled all over this country with their names, Parapara and Manukau, right over the whole country. I've got it all right through the country, right back to Chatham Islands or Oreku. That's a Manukau country. It started from there, then came here, and then the Maoris here, developed and created, invented by Pākehā, white man, have put their names all over those titles in Waikato, Tamihana, Thompson, you see, Paraoni, Brown, and uh, uh, so forth. They put their names right over that land blocks at Karapiro in Waikato. And they got driven off the land by others who are claiming through the treaty claims and before that through the native land court in Cambridge, Fenton, and these other magistrates, right? These magistrates. I've named them all, I'm getting sick of them. 
because they were still screwing around the same Maori titles that were invented and stuck ahead as if they can reach anywhere with it. Back into time, 1823, there was no Maori thing. And here they are with Maori written all over it. I'm challenging all of you people with this Ngāti Whātua tribe, plastic tribe, Maoris, to come to Te Ongawaka Morai in Exum with your titles. Besides what I've got here, I'm going to cite them and fact, fact check you lot to see who's going to come up with a title better than what I'm holding here with the title to this flag. This flag wasn't meant for anything else but these two Manukau chiefs I'm talking about, I've been raving on about all the time, until someone comes up with something of a title with the British Mora Hoffman Russells. Fucker Papa, that will clean your lot out. Straight from Britain. They've got a record there. And all your marriage have been there trying to get it. And the British just throw you out of the United Nations. Soon as well been there, at least twice. Alfred Mitchell been there, at least twice, trying to take this fucking flag in there. And it's not their country. Alfred, it's none of your business, mate. You can wear this flag around your neck. It's not going to make any difference. This belongs to Te Rawakapu for a Hirihiri Manukau that you stole their land in Kaipara, in, in, in Kerapiro. Your Tainui people stole the land, mate. That's all I can say about you. In your Australian thugs, your prison convicts came here, even that one on Cook Street, Doug Rickard Bell, prison convict, came over here and bought the land off of uh, this other guy, Peters, uh, and there they are, two of them, that are pirates, right? Two of the pirates, one, Bell, Ricard Bell, and the other one, just Danny Peters, playing around with this Manukau titles, with the Crown Corporations. You're in trouble with this pair of notes on your head. The more I dig up and stick in front of you, the more you're looking at this. You can't get out of it now. Neither can you, Pura. I've seen your Korako name on this Manukau title. I just spotted it. I'm just putting it on Facebook now, on my site. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about your name there, Korako and Ruka? Nowhere to be seen with a British title. Where are you going to go to? You can't go to Britain and claim something that's not yours. It wasn't yours to sell in the first place. You're in the queen side of jurisdiction, not this flag. I'm saying to all you people of Ngāpui, this flag can't work for you unless it's a British title, because that's a British flag. It's not a New Zealand flag. It's a British flag given to chiefs who know what contract law is in that jurisdiction, not New South Wales. You can't use this in New South Wales. It just don't work because you haven't got the original title. Right? This goes back to 1823. It goes back to 1823, Hokianga, and this Karapiro, Maunga Totally, and the East Cape, with Baker, William B. Baker, Magistrate, Office, Residence at Rangi Tokia School. Right? 1823. Everything started in 1823. And then in 1862, the New Zealand Native Land Act just got it here. I've been digging all this stuff out to authenticate it and apostle it so that you people can't get out of it standing in front of me with something better than that. Hmm? All the native titles in the world, I'm making this statement here, fact cited evidence that they all came out of Ref Refa Manikau's native land court, New Zealand native land court, that this fucking government here and its Prime Ministers and Governor Generals all these years, all the way back, have usurped this land and those two Manukau chiefs and screwed their land off them. Well, I'm going to screw it back off you because the Rogans married my family and the Manukau's and that's all there is to it. 
that's all there is to it. And this eight point start is my family, the Patricks, the Rogans, and the Cosgroves from Northern Ireland, Belfast. Right? You got that in your heads? This flag is nothing to do with anybody without a country. You can't use it. You can't use it now. But I've cited the whole flag for its purpose of trade, banking, mortgages, lens, birth certificates, and everything you fellows don't want anything to do with. Not about the money, it's not about anything, but you're still flying the flag around for what reason? It will never get anything for you because it's a Manukau contract joined by Refere for Manukau, 1862 Native Land Act that formed the basis of your treaty claims of today and yesterday back to this 1800 Maunga Tautari Marae 1800 here right on by I've got the evidence there as cited against anybody who has got their treaty claims settled under this 1862 Native Land Act and that went into Australia as well the Constitution Act and everything that's been bodied here with this government, you're getting the bill you're wearing this one bill for all of you, every one of you in this government all the way back to 1820 the first commissioning of Te Rauwaka here in to Cambridge, England that's when his contract started right then with this pound note Okay. This is all yours, everybody in the world, that's using the King's commercial land ownership title in his jurisdiction of Admiralty Martial Law to seize lands off the hapless people. Okay? So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn this camera on, on there soon in a minute. And I've been on these documents all day. Split them all out from the, the book, the book that ripped apart from the other book I've got somewhere to um, this one here. The original, I've got two or three of these, three of these books. And um, I've just split one all in bits and just gonna kind of rearrange the pages into different lots and get a series of papers apostolized, one apostolate for the whole set of King William's X of Westminster, one, apostolate, we're going to use those on you, put this power note straight over the world, we've already made this public news, and because I'm putting this online, and the videos that I'm running like this one, I'm citing everybody in the world, whether you're going with the New World Order, or going with the Soros and everybody else, you're still getting a bill from way back when I first started this off long ago, okay? Back in time to 2008 when the Lisbon Treaty was started to get bodged by the Queen. When she went to the EU Parliament, it started the record off in Westminster Parliament in 2008 and 2009. She and Gordon Brown signed off Britain into the EU Parliament and that record started off right there and you've got this on your head in the EU Parliament and everything that's gone through in the Caribbean, through uh, Netherlands and Switzerland, all your, all your banks are getting this on your head because you've used these kings, King William III, King William the Conqueror, King Solomon's Mines, all that consolidated into King William III, the creator of the Bank of England, and these pound notes, the creator of this municipalities, 8.7 of the flag in the four corners of the earth, north, east, south, west, the creator of the pound note, the instrument that I'm using legally in this book, split up into all these sections here. We've got all these documents spread out to apostolize and legalize against you, perpetrators, and the birth certificate is one trillion pound note here over the whole world and 
this one for the whole lot of the pirates, I call you. This is a pirate flag for pirates. To make you forfeit everything. If you can't stay on that in front of me. Here in New Zealand for a start, this is a blueprint here. Through these Governor Generals and through the Prime Ministers here and Parliament here, the Cabinet, have usurped this way. I'm going to do an audit on you by force of the Brexit British Government. Dual government with my Crown King William for Federal State Government of the world. Here in Auckland, New Zealand, right through the world, to seize on all the titles that have been made from these kings I just said. King George IV as well, and Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau, private contract. This flag is a private contract. All the admiralties private contract from King George IV, and this chief here at Maungatauteri Mountain, Marae, Maungatauteri Marae, it's got the 1800 Maungatauteri Marae, that's when it was this chief's Marae, okay? So I'm claiming that Manukau chief, two of them, and me, a Wānoa, an original name and the Parapara name, those three names, I'm claiming those three names all the way through these years because I've been with them all the way through, right from 2000, yeah. Right, as far back as 1986 of the Constitution that was changed from 1852 British Constitution that was given to us, we're going back on the 1852 British Constitution in this book. Okay, so I'm citing all these and apostolizing them this week and then the notice is going out to all those people in this book I've named. Right, I'm giving you last chance when I do another video tomorrow with your names. We'll be going into the uh, uh, notary public here to be recognised by New Zealand um, uh, Foreign um, Affairs, uh, Internal Affairs to go into the British Foreign Affairs. So the British Government, Brexit, not the Westminster Government, that's the crooked one with all the pedophiles in it at the moment. I'm not going with that Westminster government there at the moment. I'm going with the Brexit one that's pulling out. All the ones who are going into the EU Parliament and promoting it, sitting in the Westminster Parliament at the moment, you're going to get booted out with this flag and me and the rest of the Brexit followers in the world with a King's flag jurisdiction of Admiralty Court Martial Law straight to the top. Okay, with eight point star. That's who I am, the Patrick, the Rogan, and the Cosgrove in Belfast with the DUP party and Arlene Foster, first Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, Belfast. And I'm going in there with the Maui King William party that's set up in Westminster with the Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company registered in London, UK, Britain, as the judgment creditor, creditor against the judgment debtors names in here, right through the well of commercial contracts. Commercial contracts before you get rid of it, Trump, you're one of them. You're one of them named in here in this family. You're wearing this power note from this flag of Admiralty, the only king flag in the world, of the true Admiralty, not Vice Admiral, not Commander in Chief, a Chief Commander, an acting Chief Commander of this king's flag over your head with this power note. All of you who have screwed the public, including the Rothschild Bank, you're getting this on your head one shot from this government here gets this. Right? apostolizing that so that you can't get out of it. It's disclosed and discovered. Everything I say is discovered. There's no case in the court. It can only go through the magistrate court, which was the magistrate man with a book. And I'm, I'm the magistrate with this book. Okay? So Bundy and Hiriwini and Manahi, 
you cannot use this book because you haven't got a history of trail of evidence which is behind this couch and the side here and behind on that bed with all the Manukau Wānoa Rogan history. And your name is not on there on the commercial land ownership. Only Loeb, Lobo, Morris Baker, he's got his titles here. I've got his titles here to be authenticated. He's financing me because he's the only one that has supported me financially so far. Uh, apart from others who have put money in for shares as Bundy did and Money and Hedewini. But Hedewini Kraka Clark has to stay in this jurisdiction of the New South Wales government because the more I look at Moras for the Papa, the more I can see you're stuck facing these two managers and their commercial land ownership titles that got everything, the house, the car, the cities, the roads, the, everything in this country was derived through these two chiefs in their private contract with this flag. This flag belongs to those two chiefs, not the 13 chiefs that it made to be looked like. No, it was already a done deal. The British were selling the land in 1823 under somebody's title authority to sell this land. It wasn't any of these chiefs up in Napoli. No, it wasn't. Pomare sold the land under the Australia. New South Wales and New Zealand governments under the New Zealand company that sneaked off to London and switched the Manukau company's title out. So the British are waiting for me to go there to undo your titles and stick it back in these two Manukau's under their Manukau company that's registered in Edinburgh. Okay, all the titles are in Edinburgh. So I'm setting it up before I go there. I don't have to go anywhere, I just do it online, and my case is online and recorded. Everything I do is recorded for the record on the British uh, Westminster uh, Magistrate Court and Westminster Parliament. So, before I go on and show you this um, information, new information I say, that I've got to go with the history of the title, uh, I just want to, I better do this before it takes off. Um, okay, I've got that stuck there. Um, I, I just want to catch up with uh, Daryl Payne, he's in California, and Renee Powers, uh, two who have been tracking me for a while, and I'm appreciative of their support uh, at this present time. Uh, some have come and gone, but I, I say to those people who have supported me all along, don't go away, because I won't go away. I stay loyal as a Leo to what I do, and when I say things, I'll do it eventually. It takes time to sort out who's who, and then you'll come up with the right answers instead of make-believe and fake titles and fake names, which is what's happened here why no one gets anywhere with Māori and their titles. It just doesn't make sense in a commercial uh, business. Um, it's not certain, no certainty uh, of title or um, future in those transactions. Uh, made so that the Rothschilds get all the money out of them, you get nothing. That's what you're going along with, 1% less of a settlement and I'm not going to settle for anything less than 100% with this flag and what it's meant to be for. So before the video runs out, I'm going to switch the camera around. Before the light goes well, I'll just open the curtain up a little bit more light in it because the sun's shining so bright. And if I don't get mixed up, all everything that's lying around here, so that'll give me a bit more light on the camera. The uh, thing is a bit uh, dark shadows on my video, so I hope it uh, it sits right um, and uh, I can always see if I've got all these documents here, or oh, I can see here, put them sideways um, and talk to you.
maybe that's a little better. Or, you know, I'll, I'll go up sometimes. So I'll put this on the chair. And sit here. That's better. Try and laugh a little bit or smile a little bit. Um, so, um, Hotel Chirago. That's what I hear all the time on, on, on TV. Um, in my head. It's, it's just playing on the mind all the time. But anyway, we have all the documents here split out, uh, ready to uh, put in the right place. And you get one um, um, individual, individualized one. That's the title for New Zealand that Mohi and I put together. Okay, so so this will be apostolized on its own for the whole title to New Zealand. And it's sealed because there's a whole history with it. You can't just simply say, make a sweeping title without the background to all the names, all the names that are there to back up this history I've just got offline. It's all on YouTube, it's all online, it's all on Google, that those, all the history, I'm just picking out the bits amongst all the history that's been sitting there and the answers are there, you've got to look for them, okay? If you can't find them, you're not supposed to have them. So, um, I'm just saying with this other documents here, um, I'm just trying to find um, uh, Morris Baker's. But Morris Baker, his ancestor, um, here's his title, here's Morris Baker's title, Hori Tikuri. Now, any of you up north, the Maori's up there, you have to have something with Hori Tikuri's land. This, this, this will take the whole land up north, the whole lot, because it's a British title, and more has got British titles, but it's already been sold, they've bought and sold land, and can't get them back. We only talk about where the land came from in the first place, so she can't um, say that the land was hers in the first place. No, it had to have an original owner. So I'm just saying, that's there. And splitting them out so that he's got his own apostoly for his own titles here and this one. I'm just going to make sure I don't double up. And this here with the seals on it. This this will be separate with the uh Waka Marae certifying and passing through legislative acts in the Maui Crown um Tungu Waka Marae. Native Magistrate Court, which is that, that picture there. Okay. But I'm just saying with Manahi, um, uh, Mohini, he's never been with Mohi and I on this journey. And Mohi's uh, Freemasons and um, Freemasons and um, uh, Ratna Movement and um, uh, his um, um, own titles in Kaipara had nothing to do with this flag and its commercial contract with Te Rawaikato, Wharehere, Manukau and Referef Manukau. It has nothing to do with Nori's title in the Kaipara. I can tell you that much now because his name doesn't appear anywhere on any documents other than the ones I see on the D titles. You won't find the Manukau name anywhere because they left it out of his whakapa. So I'm saying that um, We'll switch on to that in a minute. I just want to go back to these um, these acts here. I've got dotted here. What I've done here is I've picked up all the acts of King William IV, only the ones that are crucial, that are that are real lethal, uh, and left all the others out. And I've got them all singled out here. That's the Hanging and Change Act. All the acts that really, really bites into you with this and ties anybody up in the world, in America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and Britain. It will tie you up in knots with this flag because the king made all the laws and the rules and not the queen. Okay? So I'm acting king to force these law and this flag on you after I get them signed and sealed because I tell you what, the government here can't play around when I go online like this and make statements. The British are watching you, so don't make the wrong move because these all hang you 
if you get on the road as a third party, all of you people watching me are third parties. Okay? So I'll show you again. Um, and drop that down, drop the sheet down, that better. Uh, so I'm going to spin this round, the uh, video around that way in a, in a second, and show you where I'm at at the moment with uh, Kaipara, uh, I mean Karapiro, uh, Cambridge, the native court in Cambridge, where Fenton was, of course Fenton was putting the titles together there, but um, uh, he was the native um, Kore, Koreki, um, Bishop Salman Koreki was a native assessor uh, and regis, re, re, regis, resident magistrate of Waikato to administer the law and order in the Mangatauteri area, Teo Teori Ori, um, travel with Wilhelmu Tamiana Thompson. See Thompson, those lands over there, Tamiana Thompson, right? Um, between Maori and um, they, they had peace between Maori and Pākehā. That's what this guy. Teoriori was doing as a native assessor. He was a native assessor. So if you watch those names, they disappear. He died, you see. Mysteriously, everybody dies, and these Pakeha take over. No, that's how they do it. Um, Pukekura, Manga Totally, uh, identified claimants to the land in 1873, the land called Hearing. Parapara, the name came up. See, that's an old name. Nobody can take that name. Those, that name and Manukau goes together. They go together right over this country. Wakatū down on South Island, as well as Golden Bay, has got those two names together all over the land because I went down there to check them myself when I did a whole South Island survey and a North Island survey uh, on my van and a boat. I went out for seaweed. Um, uh, um, uh, research on seaweeds at the time. Maori King Movement was 1858. That's, that's the King Movement. That's when it started off. Uh, so everything was just fresh with this Maori business going on. Mere Mere, uh, Manga Totari, Manga Totari, Manga Tafari, uh, Pua Puahue, and the Manga Totari blocks. Those three blocks um, after to see who's on it and what got them on there in the first place. I can see now, I can see right through this, as a real estate agent of my time, I'm doing investigation of every title in this country and it don't take me long to figure it out. Dispute ownership over years, Native Court Cambridge in Kihikihi to these three blocks. See they had the Native Courts in Kihikihi, the same as the Native Court in Awaro, Helenbo, and the native court in Rawane, in uh, Taheke Marae native court. That's the one I'm using. I'm using Taheke Marae native court and using Aurora native Maori court, na native magistrate court in Helenville, and I'm using the uh, Manukau Marae native court. In while well, I'm going through Te Unwaka Marae in Ipsum for the Manukau Marae. Referee for Manukau's Marae at Waiuku. That is Marae. I'm claiming that Manukau Marae and the land of Pukekoe right through Oetau Tawa land blocks with referee for Manukau. Right here, the receipt. Read it. Okay, read the title Change of Ownership for the whole area of Rogan and referee. That formed the basis of this 1862 Native Land Act I'm just looking at now on this. 1800 Mangatauteri Marae history. Whose Marae is it? All those people in there, it's not their Marae. I'm telling you, the history got switched by this New Zealand company, Alfred Mitchell's fucking lot in Australia, in Sydney, I swear, because they're the bastards that screwed this whole fucking country up with these bodgy plastic Maoris. Alfred Mitchell's Plastic Maoris and Georgie Jobs, Pakia Maori, trying to take ownership with a Maori government, you stupid bastards. 
that is already a married government there now. They are doing the Maori government and you can't make one. You're just there to edge them on because you're one of them stuck on this side as a third party against these two Manukau chiefs. You can't get out of it, Georgie. You can't get out of what I'm saying about this flag because you can't talk for it. You're not a king. You belong to the king down there in Tainui with Alfred. You go and play around with that king and see how far you get. That king is only for those people. This king is for the whole fucking world, you bastards. Playing around with it, this flag, you don't even know what it means. It's a contract. That's none of your business, bro. Only those two monocles. Okay, I know which ones are down among the totally. I know Kahu, Bunga Bunga, Hapu, and that tribe. I can single them out and switch all those bodgy surnames out, dummy area, all the rest of Damiana and all the rest of it. People in that era, you buggers, switched everything from the original titles. The original people still have the British title, and I've got it right here. Okay, I'm just putting the record straight, so you, it makes you tenants to pay the bill. You, you, you people love with this bill. That's what I'm saying. You can't get out of it. You can't get out of it because the British are going to take the whole country back. The same as East Island, Rapa Nui to Moko Nui on my land box. They got their country back off Chile. Guess who got that back? Right? Now, this country is going back to its original two Manukau owners and all the people who want to join this way. You can stay where you are. You can stay where you are. Because you, you people abandoned me and said you lost confidence in me and you know better. You know best for what you want to do. You can't go and play around this flag anymore because it'll wreck your head with this bill on your head. You're going to have to help to pay it. Sorry, that's how the law works in the King's Bench Court. Um, and this is where this record started, 1862 Native Land Act, which was designed to individualize land titles. It's just this, it's, 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 it's the words are there on this thing. I'm going to switch it around soon before the video runs out. No more than 10 persons recognized as owners of any one land block. This is what happened down in Mangatotani in Cambridge and Kihiki and um, um, Karapiro. Orapuni, the, the, my father-in-law lives up at the base of that Mangatotani mountain, so they've got something to say about that. Okay, and they live in Tap, Ta, Tapapa Pa and Marae uh, of Okorari uh, over there. I've been, I, I used to hang around all those places. I used to actually live up with my father-in-law in Poharapa, Marae in that area of Arapuni Dam and Karapiro Dam in this Mangatoti Mountain, right next to it, Kiki on the other side, right in Cambridge up the other way. But this mountain was closer to Poharapa on the east side and this Alamarais on the north and the west side. Okay, so I don't know what I'm talking about. That family, Mihinui, is stuck to their mountain and my boy was Richard was talking about it this morning. He had a lot to say because he'd done his research on that whole area and he's entitled to it because all this lot is passed through the generations to the next one in the right manner with the British title. Go and stand in Britain, they'll look at this and say, correct. Right, that's what I'm saying. So I'll listen, I'll just um, finish all what I've uh, written here. Um, uh, Ha o whenua marae, Mangatauteri, Ngāti Raukawa, that's what was there, but I'm not too sure about the Raukawa bit. Ha o whenua marae, uh, Tamihere, Ta, Tau Whare marae, Mangatauteri marae, um, 3,000 people are living over there at the time. 1834 Reverend Alfred Brown, see that, that year, 1834, pops up again, this this flag, see, you see, uh, James Hamlin of Tauranga, first party had to visit in 1834, see, this Hamlin, Hamlin, um, uh, Hemara, that, that's a Hamlin, Hemara, because I know a fellow from Whangarei, Hemara, John Hemara, that's the Hamlin, right, 
1834. You can see the connection of this flag to 1834 going down there and stitching up something. Right? I'm telling you, I'm exposing. Nachi Koriki, Bishop Shalwin, 1842, um, uh, Fenton, uh, uh, F.D. Fenton, appointed uh, this uh, this Maori, Ma Ma Tio Liro Ori, uh, as a magistrate, um, uh, as a um, uh, native assessor. And so all his troubles, he, got, he died in the end. They just made sure he disappeared. Um, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump from here. Puke Kura Mangatauri, identified by claimants to the her in three land court hearings. Parapara's name must come up. Ma Maori King. Oh, we've been through that. Okay, I'll turn this one there before it runs out. Where I'm at today. So here we go. Right, here's my Facebook site. And there is um, the 1800 Maunga Tauteri Marae there, and I'll just, I'll, I'll, just, once, I'll, I'll just read this out in a minute. So I made this video before this one, so I'll make this one, put this one on, there's that video there. I just made a picture of me, cut out of that video, and there's the pound note, and there's King William on his horse. That's his proper seal there, right, with his Admiralty ship in the background with him on dry land on his horse. Okay, so that's our seal we have on our eight-point star of Maui Crown, King William IV, Federal State Government of the World. And there's our king, and there's that eight-point star, eight-point star there with King William the IV's crown on top, and his horse and his admiralty ship in the background there. And Ernest Augustus with eight-point star, he's the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, with the two chiefs here, Hongihika and Lefelefa Manukau, and King William IV with his eight point star on him there. So that's our legacy right here that I'm apostolizing and legalizing with this flag here, as being the authority and jurisdiction of martial law to seize back and forfeit all the properties that have been stolen by the Queen's Rothschild Acts and all their corporate entities. Okay, so that's how this started. Go and chat me, sorting documents, videos to legalise by apostoly, foreign affairs to Britain, UK, 4th of January. Um, that says that to the 19th of January Native Court hearing, Auckland, UK, connected, right? Um, Okay, so that's, uh, I won't read those out because the video might run out. So that's the debtors instrument here with Ernest Augustus, King Ernest Augustus and his wife, Prince Caroline. They're still legally married. They were approved by Queen Elizabeth as husband and wife on the monarchy of the throne. Okay, so they, he's going straight on the throne, putting them straight in there, off this video right now, um, nominating them as of now and from apostolizing this 970 million trillion trillion pound note against all the levy debtors and the judgment debtors in the native courts and magistrate court and through the Edinburgh Magistrate Court in Scotland and the Westminster Magistrate Court, magistrate court in Westminster City, um, Paddington, um, England, Britain, UK. Okay, so that's our debtor's instrument with our king, reigning monarch, Ernest Augustus V. Okay, I'm, I'm his partner, ship of Admiralty, and that's his coat of arms there of Hanover and Scotland in there as well. Okay, king of Scotland and um, Ireland, Northern Ireland and England. There, right there, and that's, that's the real king. William can't be a king of Britain, UK. This is already an incumbent king, and ki Prince um, Queen, El Queen Elizabeth has abandoned ship. She's abandoned the ship of King William IV, um, 1834 flag, and she's gone to the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest. So that's the end of her putting, uh, abdicating to 
Prince William. The William can't abdicate to King William because I'm standing in his road as the surrogate King William IV to speak for him, not um, Prince William uh, Spanish. King William III and King William IV is Dutch. That's the end of Prince William and his claim to the throne. So that's me in the eight point star flag of four corners of the earth here, north, east, south, west of King William IV and me speaking for him with my coat of arms of King William here and a picture of him here and his um, Hanover coat of arms and the Hanover and British coat of arms on both sides and his eight point star sheriff's badge to seize all the properties back into his King's Bench Court. Okay, so um, here I'll just read this out before the film runs out. Um, the time has come for the King George IV, King William III, King William IV, Crown, Land, Patent, King's Bench, Court, Sheriff, Judgment, Creditor to settle the accounts of the King, Queen's Bench, Court, Judgment, debtors, where whether her corporate business traversed the country states while usurping the three kings' martial law plan authority, the 970 million trillion trillion pound note was created to seize on foreclosure, foreclose on all her subjects' accumulated, accumulated wealth while corrupting the king's common law jurisdiction that was legally entrenched in a private contract sale and purchase agreement of New Zealand country between King George IV and Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Whare Herehere Manakao of Maungatauteri Pa Marae in Cambridge, Waikato region, New Zealand. This is a contestable title for any Maori or Pakeha individual to challenge these apostolized, authenticated founding doctrines, doctrines of discovery, native titles to New Zealand, Dutch and Pacific Islands countries on Friday the 19th of January 2018 you have a chance to defend your name that is on a private defaulted contract bond on your head named as a criminal bank fraudster or terrorist fraud corrupted criminal ready to arrest and seize all your assets with the seal writ of control and position property arrest warrants legal instruments of bank land asset foreclosure forfeiture under the Treason and Security of Interest Threats Acts of King William IV, King George IV, King William III, Acts of Westminster Parliament applied to the Moai Crown King William IV, Federal State, UK, New Zealand, 2018 Brexit, Britain, Reformation Acts, British Magistrate Bank, 1823 to 1834, UK, New Zealand flag private contract. That's what this flag is. Take notice of the Native Land Act 1862, Lefle for Manukau and King William IV, set the precedent case for all Native titles in the world attached attachment to King William IV through Rogan Magistrate Court, Awadaw, Helensville. Creation of the new Auckland city title comes from this chief British title to his ancestor, Te Rawakato Wharehe Manukau, Native Moriori Chief and Parapara Chief. You see all these Maori and uh, European names disguised as Pahia Maori tribe invention in New South Wales, Australia prison convicts caught out right here in Cambridge, Karapero, Kihikihi, Arapuni, Manukau land commercial landowners, not these fly by night Maori chiefs. Maori Crown Federal State facts cited evidence throughout the remainder of 1860, 1870 and 1880s regular visits to the native land courts of at Cambridge and Kihiki were necessary to establish ownership of the Puke, Kura, Pua, Pua Hue and Mangatotiri blocks. Many disputes arose over the land, hence the necessity for several investigation of ownership over the years. The native land court was established under 1862 Native Land Act which was designed to individualise land. Now that's that 1862 Lefredef Manukau's title I showed you on the book at the front. While no Pakia had set foot in Mangatotiri Kaipura Karapiro region until the 1830s, their presence in Aotearoa, Aotearoa was left felt there in the 1820s. 
the introduction of muskets to the Ngāpui caused a great upheaval in the settlement patterns, patterns of North Island. Now, I've just stuck this on, and as you can see, this document here, I've got that clearly marked there. Um, the, um, I can't even read it, I can't even see what it is. Um, but the bus, I might be able to see it. But just before the, I'm trying to hurry before the video runs out. I've got my glasses on and read it. But I'll have it all out. No, I can't even see it. Come on. Come on, I'll just put this here and try and get it. I'll try and get it up bigger so I can read it. There, yeah, right. I'll, I'll read it while I'm talking to you. The Native Land Court was established under the 1862 Native Land Act, which was designed to individualise land titles. That's what that part. I've screen printed it and put it straight on, and I'm going to put it in the apostolize that. And this, I'm taking all these facts and putting it on my Facebook site uh, as being uh, true and correct. Uh, there, it's sitting right there with these documents and the Mangatauteri Marae here, which is here on this website here. That's Mangatauteri, and there's the mountain right there. There's the Mangatauteri mountain there, Marae. Um, Ngati Koriki, see, this chief is not the right um, chief for this land, and that's a Maori under the Maori land court titles, but I'm using British titles to go right over the top and the British has to seize it back into its rightful ownership and this get us instrument to go and put the history back where it was. When you go to Britain, these are not the names on the title over there, only to these crooked people in Australia. Te Rauparaha and his Ngāti Raukawa kin from Mangatauti to join. So this is the story. I've been picking all these out and it says a lot of who's Wata is Walters, Waka is Walker, and all of these names pop up in here. All these Pakehas um, that have purchased land cheaply and uh, got away with it. They individualised so they can take advantage. They took advantage, which is uh, unlaw unlawful. Okay, they switched names around so that they can individualise people. All these names here, see this Te Wata, Te Wata here. Tewata, yeah, I'll put the camera up. Tewata, and there it is, Davis. See, see, these crooked ticks. Karaka is Clark, Mahi is Marsh, and Kurako, there's, 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 there's Puraho's name sitting here, right here. And he gets this bill over here. So all these Karakas, all these names, these strange names, I, 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 I can't see the Parapara anywhere. I can't see the Manukau anywhere. Yet the money can't loan it. There's nothing there. They've left it right out. Tamihana, Thompson, right? Leone, William, Williams. Uh, uh, let's see, all, all these names are Bodges, Abrahama, Abrahams. See, see? You, you, you look at it. I've got the book with all the names changed, all the names, the Maori names and their surnames changed. See? All these hapus are not kahu. Punga Punga. There's no kahu Punga Punga there. They've gone and wiped it right out while I'm putting it right back in. Ani Wata, see? Wata is Walter's successor to Te Watu Tahi, one, see? A grantee. All of this stuff over these lands that belong to these Manukau's, where's the Manukau name in here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And yet I've I'm, I'm got all the Manukau's history here from Muhi Manukau. And you'll be shocked what you fellas have done with his land. Made a lot of money out of Well, now you're going to have to pay all that back. You're going to have to pay it back. I'm sorry, but that's how it works. So anyway, that's my, my, my site here. The latest of what I've been doing here. And the amount of interest there is, um, so far, silence. When you're silent, you lose. When you're ignorant, you lose. If you cannot refute what I'm saying, you're going to get this bill right on your head. We're against the seal of the King William. There, that's a proper seal. 
one of the gold seal with his ship in the background and his horse on dry land. Okay. Okay. And this flag was given on dry land. Right? It was given on dry land, not on the sea. So all your titles under the Union Jack flag is right out 200 miles out in the sea in the ocean where you came from in the first place. So there we have it. That's that's where we, we've gone to with today's piece of work. And so I've got to put all these documents together here and bind them on there. Bind them on this. See the little